Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. So as you can tell, this channel is getting very, very festive up in here. <laughs> I started sort of the festive season with the last Christmas haul and I asked you guys on Twitter to vote for if you wanted a festive decoration haul that's really collective from like different brands and stuff because I went to Primark aiming to do a little winter Primark haul but I couldn't find anything that I liked but I came home with a few bits for my room and one very very festive mug so I thought I'd pull it with a few of the bits that I picked up over the past few couple weeks and I thought I'd share it with you guys in this haul so if you guys want to feel in the festive mood as much as I do because I'm dying to put my tree up then carry on watching <laughs> the first thing I want to show you guys was actually mainly for my Christmas work party which I know I'm planning way in advance but it was only a pound and I had to pick it up and this is a little tree bopper headband. If you guys remember from my Halloween makeup video, I had a pumpkin one from Poundland. This one is from Primark and I thought I'd try and go as the 3D bath melt from Lush. And it's got little baubles on, the stars, and it's just really furry. Let me pop it on. You can't really see it. Yay! I'll wear it on for the rest of the video. Actually, you can't even see it in this shot. That is really sad. I think I'm gonna stick with bits I got from Primark at the moment. So the next thing is a little tea light holder, and oh my god, it's the cutest thing ever. This one was £1.50, and I got it primarily for something else that I treated myself to, but I can't open until the 1st of December, and that is a massive hint. And this is a cute little gingerbread man tea light holder. If you guys know, gingerbread men are my favourite thing about Christmas. Gingerbread lattes, gingerbread men, gingerbread loaf, anything to do with gingerbread, I'm there. And this is so adorable and he's also really glittery and he was luckily the last one on the shelf so I'm really happy I picked him up. Just look how adorable he is and he's going to be so cute on my shelves holding a tea light. I need to find a name for him but I think I might just call him... Does the gingerbread man from Shrek have a name or is he just called the gingerbread man? Anyway, I'm going to name him after the Shrek gingerbread man. Sticking to the gingerbread man theme. This was £4. I know I already have loads of mugs, but I needed this in my life. And I will tell you why in a second. And it is this adorable gingerbread man mug with a candy cane sort of handle. And I was going to get a Starbucks Christmas mug this year because I've only got one other one. And I wanted to start like a collection. But when I saw this, I was scrapped that idea immediately because I needed this in my life. And this one was so popular, this was probably one of about eight others gathered around the teal section and everything else was like Mickey Mouse and Tinkerbell in like the homeware section where the mugs should be. So this is very popular, so if you can find it in your local Primark, definitely get it. I'm going to open it up to show you guys. He's not massive, but he's the perfect size, I think, for hot chocolates and just flat lays so you can have like a coffee in like a Christmas flat lay so this I bought one because it's gingerbread and it's Christmassy and I wanted a Christmas mug two it'll be good for my ultimate hot chocolate blog post and to have hot chocolates in generally just imagine cream and marshmallows on the top oh my gosh this is what I'm gonna buy as soon as I finish filming this video I'm gonna get Cadbury chocolate powder and marshmallows and have this after lunch today. It's gonna look great in Instagrams and blog posts. So keep your eyes peeled for cute little pictures of him. <laughs> so that was probably my impulse purchase. Actually everything in this haul is impulse purchase. Let's be honest. The last two things from Primark I'm gonna show as quick as I can because I've got a lot to get through. And this was just plain 
Christmas cards but the Harry Potter Christmas cards. I just bought this because it was only a pound. So you get 15 in these and I'm planning to give them to family, friends, probably not family, I'll probably get special ones for my family. But these were too cute not to leave behind and it was at the bit where you queue to pay. So you know there's little knickknacks. So that was very crafty but a very good idea because Primark made me buy these. But it's a Harry Potter. It's Harry Potter. Plus you get a headwig, you get a snow globe with Hogwarts in, and you get Hogwarts that looks like Marauder's Map, and you get the crest for Hogwarts, so. What could you not want in a Christmas card pack for Potterheads? <laughs> the last thing from Primark before we get into other brands is this adorable Christmas pudding pom-pom keyring. This was £2.50, and I needed this in my life. I've already got two other pom-poms. So this adds to my collection because I love Christmas puddings. If you don't know, I have Christmas pudding bell baubles for my tree, so I'm all over it. Even though I actually hate eating Christmas pudding, but the whole aesthetic of Christmas puddings is amazing. And it's just really cute. Just look it. Can't go wrong with £2.50. So this is just going to be Christmas addition to my keys. Let's be real. Plus, massive pom-poms help you find your keys. That's my excuse. <laughs> okay, on to the next brand now. And I don't know if um, other towns have this, but we've got a shop called Chickadee Homeware. And it's basically like a vintage inspired mod, like modern vintage kitsch inspired gift shop. And they had a massive Christmas sale. And it was only the 1st of November, but I went a little bit crazy. I mean, I bought three things, let's be real. That's not crazy in my standards but they had the cutest little knickknacks in there and I picked up two Christmas decorations for my tree and one little decoration for my shelf and this first one is a little sort of Rudolph reindeer thing holding a gingerbread man and it wobbles, it's so cute and it was only two pound and I couldn't leave it behind because I'm trying to really focus on making my shelves as festive as possible because I focused on my tree mainly last year because I bought my own tree. Just look how freaking cute it is, it wobbles. So that was a proper bargain. The next couple bits were the tree decorations and again, this is Conan from the gingerbread theme and biscuit theme and I'm trying to make my overall aesthetic for Christmas every single year to be traditional. I love traditional looking things for Christmas. I hate all that modern like blue, purple, silvery stuff. It just looks tacky and very cold in my opinion. So everything traditional and cute is up my street because I want everything to be as cosy and welcoming and warming as possible. So I bought these two decorations and this one was 175 and the other one was two pound so this one is basically a gingerbread house biscuit on a spoon and the other one is a gingerbread man riding Rudolph which I think is really adorable just look how cute these are and these are gonna look so good on my tree and I hope they're not too big for my tree but they shouldn't be but they should be like the main decorations and I just felt stickiness on this gonna have to clean it before I put it on. <laughs> Sticking to Christmas tree decorations, I got a pound pack of 12 peppermint candy canes. I don't eat these, but they look amazing on your Christmas tree. And I might just keep these for years to come because it's not like I'm ever gonna eat them. So you can't go wrong with a pound for those. And on to Poundland. So the only things I got from Poundland were these little nutcracker decorations. These are really popular. I had to hunt in like at least three pound lands before I found these. And I regret not getting them before Halloween because they had loads. But now all they have now is made me like a post box covered in snow and Big Ben. And I'm guessing no one really likes that because there was like thousands of them. And these are literally just two nutcrackers that you can put on your tree. Let me show you close up. And they are so cute. These remind me of something from like Liberty or something. I don't know why. 
and they were only a pound for two which is a bargain i only got four because i don't want to like swamp my tree with them but they add a nice little traditional touch and nutcrackers are so christmasy they are like the aesthetic of christmas okay last thing now this one was a proper treat to myself it's an advent calendar and that is yankee candle one it's 24 days for 24.99 which i think is an absolute bargain because if you think how much they sell tea lights separately this you are saving a bit of money and the last day is actually a little full size candle so that is amazing and that is why i bought that gingerbread man tea light holder just so i can put these in and light them each day so it will make the room smell nice just let you guys know you get fairy trifle macaroni treats all this bright christmas memories christmas garland and christmas cookie which that is a bad edit they've done that terribly <laughs> there's like the picture like half out of the box that they've set for it it's so funny so yeah i can't wait to open these and i'm definitely gonna do a little blog post about this just like announce it and this might be going up next week who knows also might be putting my tree up like pretty soon and it's only november and i am living for it <laughs> so that is everything in my haul and i keep clapping like this i don't know why but if you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and click the notification bell below to get updates for the next upload so i hope you guys have a great weekend and i see you